Brandy. I have a real easy solution, Brandon. Buy it. How much would you sell it for if I came cash in hand today? Cash in hand today? I'll take seven. It's a throwing knife. Should we test? This video was sponsored by Omaze. So I got a call from my maintenance crew that this house here that we bought in 2015, all of the septic is backing up in the house and they were, had to bring out an excavator or some sort of machine to start trenching up along the house because of the septic back up. But I see it looks like they've, they've dug out here. I'm hoping that they actually got it fixed. We're gonna go back here and check. This is like my absolute, one of my more favorite houses with one of my more favorite tenants. The tenant's really, really nice to me. On time pay, everything's great. The Where we're standing right now is an empty lot and this is the one where house burnt down shortly after the uh, girlfriend threw the boyfriend into a bandsaw because they both needed to go to the local uh, hospital they were trying to get some pain relievers let's say and the hospital refused them service so the girlfriend threw the boyfriend into the bandsaw a week later this house that was sitting here burnt down So real estate's up like 50 or 60 percent and i get messages every single day that you can't buy anything like there are no houses for sale so we're going to look at a trailer on its own lot the ground here is owned for thirty-five thousand dollars, and you let me know whether you would buy this one for about thirty thousand dollars it's a pretty nice neighborhood uh, we we're just driving through it it really doesn't look too bad this is by far the worst house here Let's see if we hear any scurrying i think we're okay we'll have to watch our step in this one Oh wow. <laughs> what do you smell, Eric? Smells bad. Smells yes. bad. It's not human urine. It's the smell of money. That's mm -hmm. what money smells like to me because there's going to be a lot of money to be made in here. This looks like real similar to the one I did looked at with Sean uh, recently and there was a gunfight in. So we need to probably look through and see if there's any bullet holes. But based on how much, how filthy this is, no one has been in here for a couple years. But the big thing is to figure out if there's roof leaks. If there's roof leaks on here, it's gonna change the value considerably in a negative way. It's a standard double wide trailer for 30, $35,000 that comes with the land that sits beneath it. I mean, we'll have to look through here and see. Ooh, free Ooh. knife. Cool. It's a throwing knife. It's a throwing knife. Should we test? I'll have to give Sean some money. That work. We got some Sriracha here and four loco. Wow, that's worth like $3 at a minimum. Oh, some bed bugs. Some dead bed bugs. Oh, a letter. Oh, some letters. All right. Oh, it's a letter from jail. <laughs> it's a love letter from jail, guys. How to spot counterfeit Beanie Babies. I mean, for 35 grand, you said? This isn't too bad. The lot itself would look really good if someone would come out here and mow it. That's creepy now, that's weird. That is creepy. That's like a voodoo doll. Yeah, that does look like a voodoo doll. A priest is now gonna to have to be involved in the exorcism of this house. That's discoloring from cigarette smoke. So that's not too bad. I said on an earlier video that when you get in foreclosed houses and abandoned homes, they're always full of pennies. So there's pennies all over the floor. I don't know what it is about real estate and people leaving money all over the place, but there's always pennies in empty foreclosed houses. So would you buy a house like this for 30 or $35,000? Let me know in the comment section and make sure that you like the video and subscribe. So this is Southern Ohio's most form, like foremost stop and rob gas station. Sean wanted to partner with me on buying this as a gas station and turning it into effectively a gigantic vending machine because what's happened is the last three or four managers have had really uh, unique life partners or boyfriends and the places got robbed when they had tons of money on hand. So we've looked at buying this place, but they've lost their liquor license. So liquor licenses really aren't easy to get in the state of Ohio. We had tried to get it for about $150,000. The owner of the property says it's worth three fifty, dollars but it has been closed down for a year now, not making anything. So this is, we had a concept of maybe doing a, just nothing but vending machines in here, beer vending machines cigarette vending machine just to limit the amount of robberies going on in this place the, the robberies cost hundreds of thousands of dollars in lost revenue for the place and that's why it's closed so i guess i'm gonna have to resort to calling the for sale by owner i was hoping we'd talk to them when we were here but who knows hey guys have you ever seen the tesla model x plaid edition it goes zero to 60 in only two and a half seconds it also has 1020 horsepower not literal horses though
And the best part is today's video sponsor, Omaze, is giving one away. Omaze is that company that supports charities and gives away really cool prizes. And in today's case, it's a Tesla Model X Plaid Edition. Omaze gives one-of-a-kind prizes while supporting different charities all across the world. It's a sustainable approach to fundraising. And it helps nonprofits spend less time trying to raise funds and focus on the needs of their respective communities. Two of the cool charities that Omaze is working with today is Give Power and 501c3. Give Power is really cool because they're helping people access electricity around the world. Over 2.2 billion people have no access to power, and that's who they're helping. While 501c3 helps us build a cleaner, more sustainable future. And don't forget that Model X that does a quarter mile in under 10 seconds. So check out Omaze below and enter for your chance to win. So this is my quarter acre or one third of an acre uh, lot in a subdivision that I created this lot for some NFT tokens. We're going to release a token that's going to sell part of my YouTube channel off, specifically my laundromat. The digital presence of the laundromat, we're gonna allow our subscribers to purchase that and have some equity in the business. A friend of mine that was the original developer on the subdivision liked that idea so much. He said, would I want a building lot in trade for some tokens? So I gave him some tokens and he gave me this lot. So now we could either do two things with this. We could build a little uh, motocross thing and ride dirt bikes and ATVs in this $350,000, $400,000 subdivision, or we could build a really nice house here instead and document the process. So let me know in the comments, would you like to see this turned into a dirt bike track in a big subdivision in Southern Ohio, or would you like to just see me build a really, really expensive house? Okay. So, uh, Eric, you remember the house that we were at yesterday where we are going to have to excavate um, yes. the yard? Okay. Well, the excavation crew was there. They actually had to rent equipment. Um, ends up, the neighbor is furious at me right now because they are. she's saying that the crew's digging up her yard. Oh my. Not my yard. This is Brandon Schlichter. I am the uh, neighbor here on North Brownell Street. Um, uh -huh. I, I've got down here to try and figure out what to do and how to resolve the issue. And so they have definitely stopped work. Um, and I'm just trying to figure out what to do because the line, I guess, is clogged up. They've run um, equipment with it. So now I've got a hole there. And I know that, you know, you want it to be back to how it was. So I'm Correct. just trying to come up with ideas on how to get it resolved. Yeah. Now, I, the, the issue I have, Brandon, is you knew I owned the property. Now, I don't know whether or not you knew how they were going to resolve it. Nope. But I'm also trying to figure out why they would put a sewage line uh, on somebody else's property. I've got it. I'm selling that lot. I've okay. listed it. And okay. I, I got to get it cut because the city's out there measuring my grass. Yeah, I know that they are. Okay, that makes sense. How much do you have it listed for? Ten. Ten. Okay. Do you well, know? I what... tried to sell it to you last fall for yeah. less than that. Yeah. The... I have a real easy solution, Brandon. Okay. Buy it. How? Okay. And how? Yours. How much would you sell it for if I came cash in hand today? Cash in hand today. I'll take seven cash in hand okay. today. The last time we talked, we were at five, and let me try to think on this a little bit more now that I've made contact with you and try and figure out what my options are and hopefully give you a call back in the next 30, 45 minutes or something. Okay, you and I talked about five before, right? Yes. You paid the closing costs because she, she's a friend of mine. Okay. And I bought several properties with her. Okay. She, my commission, and I'll tell you straight up and honest, my commission on that, her commission on that's 5%. Okay. You pay five and her commission of 250 and I'll cash and I'll take it. Okay, at five, uh, $5,000 and then I handle the closing costs and her commissions. I'll either give you a phone call in the next 15 minutes or a text and telling you that's okay because we have to go through ERA, which is fine, but I can get her an offer over. I can get the paperwork done by the end of the day. All right. Can you do that for me, Brandon? Yes, I can do I'll that. Go okay. All right. Okay. I appreciate it. Thank you. Bye. Bye. What's the game plan? <laughs> I'm going to be responsible for fi this $5,500, whether my investor likes it or not. Sean, what do you think? I think you can get it for 400 Okay, I'm going to buy this stupid lot. I'm not very happy, but it is what it is. I've got to give her an actual bona fide contract 
on the property, but I'll get it done. Ugh. This isn't the setup, but I'm the only person that keeps quarters on hand. So the city recently put in old fashioned parking meters. No one keeps change on them. So I'm excited that I could put money in something. Do you think parking meters are profitable? Oh yeah. In Circleville, the other city that I have my business in, there's a private parking meter company. And if you don't feed their meter, they put a fine on your car, even though it's not legal. So they essentially put false tags on people's cars saying your car's gonna be impounded. They have no legal right to do that. It's really hilarious. It's almost extortion. Well, no. technically it is extortion. And then if you don't wanna pay it, you can get away with not paying it. So this is my monthly mortgage payment that I pay on the apartment complex I bought for $250. I figured I'd show you the guys here. I pay $442 um, a month as a mortgage payment. My taxes and insurance run maybe another $200 a month. And uh, this is the apartment complex. It's a duplex plus a house. And I bring $1,500 a month off of it and I only pay $250 down for it. So they were really far behind on their taxes. So I got them to agree to sell me the property for $250. I had to take over the mortgage payment and get the, the back taxes caught up. I signed an agreement with the county to catch them up over a two year, two year process so it was a really great deal. So if you want to learn how to do that, check out the description below. Yeah, we're here at the real estate office. I'm going to go handwrite an offer on this piece of property just so we can get this nightmare over with. It ends up, even though there's no sign and it's not on the MLS, they did sign a listing agreement yesterday to do it. So I'm trying to avoid anybody else from buying a, a septic sewage mess with a hole in the yard. I work for this company anyway, so I'm allowed in here. So we're going to go do this and get it taken care of. and get a, the contract sent in on this today under contract so I can actually start physically working on the property and so we can get the hole filled in so we don't have a child from the community fall down because that would be really bad PR for me. So once you have it under contract, you're legally obligated to work on it? I want to say, I want to work on this place. And under Ohio law, you can ask for anything in contract. I was a part of a deal years ago where we asked for a horse. Mm. There was it was a field and there was a horse in the field. We're like, I want the horse too. Offered and we wanted the horse with the property. And once again, thanks to Omaze for sponsoring this video. Check out their link below. Find our first syringe of the day? I think so. Right there. Oh, that's a Big, that's a big syringe. That's a big giant syringe. Oh, and a spoon, so you know. Oh, okay. That's what they're doing with the spoon and the syringe. It's two, two gigantic syringe. It's like a mega dose. Clonidine. That's some pills in here. I wonder what the street value on that is. It treats ADHD and cancer pain. 